YouTube channel. So in today's video, it is going to be about how to groom a horse. So I will show you my grooming kit and everything that I've got in it. And I will also explain a few reasons as to why we groom our horse. And I'll just bring you along with the process of grooming my horse. So I hope you enjoy this video. So here is my grooming kit, as well as my mane and tail conditioner and um, coat shine. So I will be using those as well. And I will show you everything that's in my grooming kit. What's in here, Cyril? So, first off, we have this one. This is a mane and tail comb or brush. Brush. It's a brush. So, I'm just going to show you everything that's in here before I take the rug off because it's a bit chilly. So, first off is the mane and tail brush. This does his little forelock, apart from I can't reach. And um, his mane and his tail. So, yeah, these are, this is really good for getting out any knots. Next up we have the dandy brush. This is for the body and this goes in this sort of motion down towards the way the hair is laying. And this flicks off any dirt and mud off the horse, which I will show you in a minute. This is a body brush and this is to get rid of that excess dirt and mud. And this gives an overall finish and shine on your horse's coat, doesn't it? Cyril holds the brushes for me when I'm grooming, so that's very handy. I also do his face with that one, as it's quite a gentle brush. It's got really thin um, bristles, whereas this dandy brush has quite got thick bristles and quite firm to get the mud off, but it's not very good for on their face. It, they're a bit more sensitive in their face and their leg areas, so it's best to use the one that Cyril is demonstrating now for those areas. Um, this is a hoof pick and this is to pick out their feet, which I will show you. Uh, what else have we got in here? This is a plastic curry comb. This does the same thing as the dandy brush really. You can go in like circular motion to get rid of any mud and dirt and it's quite a soft one. Whereas you can also get this, this is a plastic curry comb and that also has firm bristles and Cyril likes to put it in his mouth which isn't normal but um that gets rid of the mud as well in the winter it's more of a winter brush than a summer brush i would say thank you Cyril <laughs> so let's get started and i will take off his rug and show you me grooming him and explain how i do it are you gonna hold that one I'm just going to add a few reasons as to why we brush our horses or groom them. So, first reason is it improves circulation in their body, especially like Cyril when he's got a rug on often. It's good to have an hour or so where they don't have a rug on or just a good groom to get all the loose hair or dirt off that's underneath the rug and it improves their circulation when you're doing so. Um, another good reason to groom your horse is because it's really good at um, giving you an opportunity to bond with your horse. They actually really enjoy grooming, well most of them do, and Cyril does. So it's just a good way to spend a bit of time with your horse and just pamper them really. Reason number three for grooming them is it's a good way to check if your horse has any lumps, bumps, scratches, bites, or anything like that. It allows you to get down close to the le their legs and stuff and just check them all over properly when you're grooming them. So this is my grooming in routine. Some people may do it differently to me, but this is just what I do with my horse when I'm grooming him. So first off, I get this one. This is the rubber curry comb. And I kind of just give him a little massage with this. So this one I do in a circular motion like this, and it brings all the dirt and scurf to the surface. And it, he also quite likes this. You may see him doing some bits of his lip as he quite likes this, and it's quite therapeutic for him. So I do this a bit all over his body. Look, there's his lip, and um, as you can, you might be able to see all the grease is coming to the top of his fur. Is that nice? Oh yeah, you like that bit. You can also learn where your horse likes to be groomed, and then they enjoy it, and they just like the experience a lot more. You can also give them treats if they're a bit unsure about being groomed, but to be honest, I think most horses enjoy it. So if the horses have got a thick coat, I would use this, but Cyril's actually fully clipped at the moment and he's a tiny bit sensitive. So I think on his 
body this is a bit too harsh for him so I tend to just use this body brush on him as it's soft and to be honest this is my go-to brush really I always groom him with this one as it's just really good for his sensitive body and um, he just enjoys getting groomed with this one basically so this then removes all the dirt scurf and whatever's been brought to the surface this one's also really good in the summer as it gives them a really good shine as well this is his mane and tail brush and I just use this like this gets all of his mane to one side and then I like him to have a nice tail where it's all you can just brush it through and there's no knots This is a hoof pick which picks out their feet, which I will show you here. So you run your hand down the back of their legs and ask them to lift up and then you brush downwards down the hoof and you have to avoid the frog in the middle. I also do his legs with this body brush as well as his body. get any mud off so now we have a nice clean horse and we are ready for our ride thank you for watching our video on how to groom a horse and we shall see you in the next video